Hi everyone and welcome to the latest episode of the Tiny Brains podcast. I'm Kevin Joyce, CEO at Tiny Brains and with me as always is Peter Graham, the Brigadier of Brains at Tiny Brains. Say hello Peter. Hello. So as always on this podcast we're going to go through the top stories in XR from the previous week and all shock horror, all the stories these week, this week or most of them at least, are around the Meta Quest. All of them in fact are around Meta at least. Um, this is because obviously Connect was held last week and um, I'm sure anyone who works in XR is going to be familiar with all of this news but maybe it's handy for you to get some additional perspectives from you know people who have been in the industry for a long time because I'm quite old yeah. Um, yeah. and Peter's even older so there you go. Whoa. Um, so we're going to jump straight in with the, the Quest, Quest 3, Quest 3S, Quest 6, 9, Quest 64 all of the quests. Um, <laughs> so jump, jump on. Well, yes, you know, the, 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 there'd been so many leaks, it wasn't really a surprise when uh, Zuckerberg started talking about the Quest 3S, but at least it was now officially confirmed. And we got two models, the 128 gig version and the 256 version. And as had been previously known the, the last week, coming starting at 300 bucks. So, you know, it's quite a nice little uh last little starting point i know you wanted it at 250 but 300 is still still all right i think it's a good price but it could have been a great price <laughs> well yes we we also got some specs this time the, 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 i think this is what a lot of the uh die hard people are after what are the specs going to be like how close is it going to be to the three what's what's been omitted so we know things like the three had dual lcd displays whereas the three s has a single display like the quest 2 and it the Quest 3S also has Fresnel lenses rather than the pancake lenses. So it makes it the headset a little bit deeper. And, you know, there are likelihoods of getting things like little god rays and such like. So there, there have been those things to bring the price down and to differentiate it from the from the three. But essentially, it still has the same processor. It still has the same Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2 processor. It still has the same RAM. So it can run all the games three can no problem so developers don't have to worry about trying to make it for two and then make it for three s and make it for three three and three s exactly the same so there's no issues there this is my key point personally that there is not one single piece of software that exists right now at least and it doesn't look likely there ever will be fingers crossed one single piece of software that will run on quest three and not on quest three s um so you the, the quality that you experience may suffer a little but i don't think it's a big enough deal for us to be concerned and all these new games that are coming out later this year and into next year there'll be other software outside of gaming uh that is quest free exclusive it's no longer quest free exclusive it's quest free and quest free Plus. so pull one out for the quest 2 but quest free is here now and the quest free s is a really nice and uh, like entry point to that mm. And I think it looks good as well. You know, they've uh, they've done a decent design on it and to differentiate it. And so it's now going to be Quest 3S yes, for, for those that are just wanting to get into VR nice and cheap. And then you've got the three for those that want to upgrade or have been in VR for a long time and they want the best experience for Meta. So fairly easy, really, isn't it? <laughs> but there was some other Quest 3 news, wasn't there? Uh, and that comes to pricing. Uh, th I've, I've, for me, I feel this was like one of the bigger shocks. This is this did come out of nowhere. Is the fact that they're dropping the 128 gigabyte model, so that is now done and dusted. Well, apart from the, the stocks that's left over, and it's just going to be the 512 gigabyte model, which has had a price reduction. So rather than 650 dollars, it's now 500. They're 150 bucks taken off the price which is quite substantial, really. Well, it's now a three-tier system, right? You've got the entry-level Quest 3S, you've got the mid-tier Quest 3S with the, the larger capacity, and then you've got the top-tier Quest 3. Um, and I'm fine with this. I don't I don't think this is a, a bad situation at all. Oh, no, no, it's not a bad situation. It, yeah, uh, in any way, shape or form. Also, if you can find a 128-gig model before they are, you know, they run out, they're actually discounted to $430. So, you know, there's a little bit of saving. Hopefully you didn't buy a Quest 3 last week, um, is, is the main thing. Um, yeah, well, <laughs> this happens to everyone at some point, right? Um, there, there, there are many times in my uh, console 
gaming spectrum where I bought a console only for a price cut to happen a week later. Um, but you know, you live and learn, right? You, you gotta, you gotta roll the dice sometimes. I would always advise never buy it before a conference. Yeah. <laughs> and also, just on that note, um, if you are buying a three or a three S. There's a new deal happening where you get Batman Arkham Asylum for free as well. So the game launches on the 22nd of October. So if you buy one of the new models or the new headsets, you get a free game, which is... Now, I was at an event last night, and Peter was there too, where I was speaking to several people that were singing about this new Batman game. I'm still withholding my judgment. I, I want to know that those... Big yellow arrows telling me where to punch don't exist past the tutorial. I'm I'm scared. I'm scared there's going to be a 90s arcade game dressed up as a VR game. Well, if you pre-order Request 3S, mate, you can, uh, you know, you, oh, get I can find out. Yeah. you don't, don't have to worry. You can try yeah. it for free. So moving on, we've got more news from Meta, and this one I really like. Uh, the Orion AR glasses. Now, Meta revealed that they were working on these devi this device, what, six years ago? Something like that? Uh and now they've shown it to us and they've said it's far too expensive and it's not a consumer product yet. And it was quite obviously don't buy Vision Pro, please. Uh, but I really like it. I think I think it's exactly what needs to happen uh, as a next level for AR. It's all where we all want AR to go. It's great. I love it. You got some detail, Pete? Well, trying to avoid being uh, repetitious, but yes, it's again, it's one of those stepping stones and it did look good um it kind of looked like a pair of 60s glasses they were kind of big chunky and black but they actually looked reasonably sleek uh there was a an outside puck a wireless puck which does some of the processing but the batteries are on board and yeah it's not it's not gonna be cheap when they they, they weren't touting any prices or anything but they did say that what was shown on the on the show floor was an internal dev kit. So like you say, it was a prototype. They're, it's not going to come anytime soon. It probably at the very, uh, um, Andrew Bos, Bosworth has said that it's not going to be decades. It's probably going to be years. And they have it, um, suggested that it's going to be maybe around 2030 that we, we will likely see some sort of form of Orion consumer device. But again, this is, this is pro probably like Apple Vision Pro. It's going to be, aimed at enterprises because it's not going to be cheap so it's probably going to be aimed at enterprise i would like to think by 2030 it will be a consumer product i would like to think that by 2026 there will be an enterprise version and 2030 will have the consumer version for the equivalent of you know 500 bucks in today's money which considering the way the economy is going right now will probably be about a million pounds um but there, but there you go i'm not an economist um but yes, the Orion, I love it. I think it's great. I, I want some. Thank you, Boz. I'll just give you my address. Just, just ping me on Twitter, slash X. Um, Ray-Ban, now more, more hardware. More hardware, more glasses. It's all going to be about sticking stuff on your face as much as possible. So yes, this the, the, the Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses have been out for, well, this is the second generation, but it's been out for a a good year or two now and everyone raves about it everyone is actually loving these smart glasses and so the announcement at the conference was about software updates so it was essentially more ai as as is the trend at the moment you've got live translation so they're going to initiate english to french and italian and spanish so that's kind of cool if you're if you're traveling and you need and you need some translation services it your your glasses will be able to do it there will be um meta ai reminders so if you forget something your meta ai glasses will remind you that you've forgotten something hopefully not like harry potter and the remember all where it's something that you don't remember what you've remembered so okay you've what you've forgotten so hey hey but there's lots of new features i have no idea what you're talking about i'm, I'm not a harry potter guy <laughs> well you don't need to be i have no <laughs> idea uh, there will also be things like Spotify, Amazon Music controls built in, and the glasses will also recognise QR codes and phone numbers. So there you go. And but I think the big takeaway that everyone loved was the translucent models. They were snazzily shown by Zuckerberg and Boz as well. So there's only going to be 
12,000 of those, so limited edition. You want to show people that your your snazzy glasses do actually have loads of tech built in? Buy a translucent model. And just give away to everybody. It's like Google Glass. Just give, tell everybody that you're monitoring them with your translucent model. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we've got a couple of quick ones to wrap up. Firstly, Quest 2 and Pro, we hardly knew you. Bye-bye. Well, we hardly knew Pro. Uh, <laughs> True. Quest 2, we, we, we've known fairly well. Yes, you know, with the advent of this new, as you say, the tier system for 3, Quest 2's out the door. It's being discontinued. And they're, well, they're both being discontinued this year. So it's essentially until stocks run out. So, so, I mean, at this point with 3S, why would you pick up a Quest 2? You know, I mean, before it was a, you know, the Quest 2 was the entry level device and Quest 3 was top tier. But now Quest 2, got to love you and leave you. Yeah, that's it. That's it. If you want if, if you want VR and mixed reality, then you can now get it for 300 quid. And Quest Pro, I I thought the Quest Pro was nice. Didn't think it was worth the money. In comparatively to the Quest 2 and, and later the Quest 3. Um, so Quest Pro, good job, but the time wasn't right for you. And the last one we've got, as we always do, is some gaming news to end the show on. And this time, it's with a series that I'm a, I'm a big fan of. Well, this is the one I, if you don't like, if you're not looking forward to Batman, Kev, I expect you to be looking forward to Metro Awakening. So, yes. I am. Yes. <laughs> From Vertigo Games, they have officially confirmed the launch date as the 7th of November. And so far, all the feedback from Connect and other sources has been that it's shaping up rather well. There's no been no indication about how long the game might be, but things like the gunplay and the graphics are on point for a AAA VR title. I'm a big fan of Metro 20, whatever it is, and also Metro Last Light. Um, I wasn't such a big fan of the third one, the open world one, but uh, but yes, the first two I absolutely love, uh, and I, I think it's Awakening, oh, Exodus, the third one, uh, Awakening is this one, uh, yeah, and I'm really looking forward to Metro Awakening, uh, Vertigo Games obviously have a great reputation, uh, what Arizona Sunshine and all the other little bits they've done, um, and yeah, bring it on, I'm good for this one. That's it. And it's coming to all Quest models, PSVR 2 and PCVR on Steam. So nobody gets to miss out. You all get And of course, it's included in the five Focus Vision uh, launch bundle. One of the launch yes. bundles, the Wild Hack, uh, with full disclosure, a claim for one of our clients. Yay. So, uh, so yeah. Go buy that. Um, that's all we've got time for this week. Uh, as ever, if you want to talk about any of these stories or you yourself are working in XR and have a story you'd like us to discuss on this podcast, please reach out to any of the ways to contact us. There are millions. Uh, I'm everywhere and Pete's most places. Uh, so, uh, yeah, do drop us a line and we'll see you again next week. Thank you very much. Thank you.